What's up YouTube? Today is a quick review on my new DJI Osmo gimbal. It's is the mobile version. Uh, my wife's using the other one. I've got the other one. I'm gonna show you guys how that. Uh, you know, so we do use two of them. And it's I don't. You know when you think about it, you think about getting one and always shooting it by hand. But when it comes to actually doing something with your hands, uh, it really does kind of eliminate that. So you know you are going to have to think about that. You know maybe have a tripod. So having two might work. Um, but nonetheless, uh, they, were, they were super cheap, so I picked them up anyway. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, uh, review of it. <clears throat> I've gone ahead and taken my iPhone uh, X out of the case. Uh, it might accept it with a case, but since I do have this little uh, uh, love handle ring on there, it kind of throws it all off. But look, I absolutely love the way it sits. I mean, you guys can kind of see in there. It's got the nice grooves perfectly in there for the phone. It sits in there nice and padded, so uh, nothing to worry about there, no scratching it. And then you kind of just throw it in there like that. There's a little twist on the back. You, it collapses in and holds your phone in there nice and nice and tight. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, you do need to download the DJI Go uh, app, and it does you, you know, kind of works like a Bluetooth video. So you're going to have to connect your device. So I've gone ahead, gone ahead and opened it up. You will come up here and you'll select uh, which which Osmo version you have. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but yeah, I'll go ahead and click that. I've got the mobile. They do have a mobile two out, and then I'm going to connect connect your device uh, it usually will pop up right there I just haven't turned it on yet so we'll go ahead and uh, close that out and make sure it goes so we've got the power button right here we're gonna go ahead and hold it down and we'll release the iPhone because it should calibrate and open up and right there it actually did not pick up my phone uh, I, sometimes it, we are having some conflicting with the, with the two Osmos sometimes it it wants hers or it wants my phone so sometimes we get those screwed up uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, do a quick go into uh, Bluetooth, I go ahead and turn that on, you can see Osmo, it does say that I'm connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it down one more time. I, I can feel it grabbing there. So we're gonna turn it on. And you can see it went ahead and calibrated itself to line right up. <clears throat> so when you do use it, you could use uh, the camera view uh, that your normal iPhone does or video through the uh, actual Osmo app. Uh, I don't, like the transfer of the files from it personally it's not terrible you can save it in your uh, your camera roll or you can upload it through your uh, plug it in your computer but nonetheless i'll go ahead and uh, uh if you if you don't want to zoom capabilities in that you can use the camera roll i did forget that if you're but you are in the dji go app you, it's going to give you the ability to zoom and to control all this so it does have a quick picture uh kind of shot shot this in my video the other night just a real quick uh but here's a more in-depth one this one will allow you to take a screenshot of it a picture uh, that, uh thumb controlled to start and stop your recording of the video it's got this uh cool little old school like the old uh playstation little joystick so you can go up down side to side and then of course it's got a little trigger on the back what that trigger actually does is uh a, a I'll, I'll jump into that one that later once I actually get it connected. Okay, so I've got it, got it connected already. It's gonna look like the app's gonna look just like this, and uh, you know you got the record button up here. You've got a play button. That's how you end up saving all your videos. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to get out of that. You've got a home button that kicks you right back here. You're gonna say go back into the camera. Uh, you, you got you got your gimbal status. You can go in here and check your battery, check all kinds of stuff. Uh, how, how many times the batteries have been charged? It does run off. I think a 2600 milliamp. Um, lipo battery it just kind of slides right in here uh, i've got a couple extra ones the uh the size this is where you get all the am the mounts uh, you can add the microphones the lights the uh the extension rods they've got every accessory in the book for it uh, i do need to get a tripod so that we can actually set them down and and not have uh, to have a cameraman around here but you can see i mean you can check out that video get a little bit closer but you can tell that i could be pretty stable and, and kind of do a nice little pan and it's pretty level versus having my shaky hand out there trying to do something. But I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys. So, so when you want to control it, you're gonna you can see you can see the actual iPhone screen turning left, right. It's a little slow. Uh, I have noticed that the other one that we do have runs a little bit faster. So I'm not sure if it's this or if it's uh, maybe a setting somewhere that I haven't found yet. But you can see I'm doing that. So let's say we wanted to to zoom in over here. Say so we want to get in on that guitar. So I'm going to hold that trigger once and then I'm going to press forward on the joystick and we're going to be able to zoom in and out. Of course, we're not hitting the guitar, but we'll go ahead and show you what kind of zooming capabilities it has. So 
not, nothing fancy. It does turn a little bit grainy, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead and zoom back out. Uh, just a cool little feature actually to throw on there. So imagine you go ahead and get it, uh, you get a little off to the side like this and you wanna snap it right back into place. You're gonna just double click it on the back and you see it lined it right back up to, to its normal view. And the other one will be uh, uh, a selfie mode, which one's pretty cool. So, you know, I could sit here and double click it right up on you and uh, go ahead and stable it out. But if I do three, it went ahead and threw the camera back around on selfie mode. And so you just got in the video. But, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, triple click it right back and we put it right back in there. So that's a cool feature that you can do everything right there. You can walk around, uh, go vlog somewhere in some city, do something, and you're gonna be able to come right back to yourself if you wanted to. So I think that's really cool. Of course, I'm not gonna go through the whole app, but you guys could go, you know, it's just one of the things you gotta teach yourself. Uh, but it's got settings in there. Uh, you know, camera settings, gimbal settings, general, and live. You can go see, like I said, your, your video resolution, from uh, all kinds of other stuff. So I, I'm not gonna jump into all that, but nonetheless, here's the gimbo, gimbal, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, I can't think of anything else that it's really done for me. I'm sure it's more than I, I really know what it actually does right now. But uh, nonetheless, a great product to have. We enjoyed it. It's, it's making our videos a little, little bit better. We're still working on it, but nonetheless, we'll get there. And uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap this one up and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, feel free to comment, subscribe down below. And most importantly, subscribe. That's, uh, that's the one thing we are really trying to get forward to before we can actually start seeing some, some progression with this YouTube progress. So hope you guys are enjoying it and can't wait to see you in the next one. See you guys.